So let's take a look at just some of the basics of this shirt that we've been discussing here, the 511 Rapid Assault shirt and licensed Cry Precision Multicam. Um, here we've got the shirt, didn't really have real dry or desert terrain to kind of show off the the uh, camouflage pattern in, in a good environment, but uh, I think we all know how effective this stuff is and, and sort of the initial reason why it's so popular. Um, but this guy's he's looking a little lonely, so let's zoom in on him. So there we go. You can see some of the features kind of going on here with the shirt. One thing the 511 did was add the uh, pockets with the Velcro on the outside to each of the sleeves. Very nice feature, pretty standard though, I guess, for most, most shirts come with this, but uh, with the 511, their TDU shirts, uh, prior to this version, they did not have uh, either the pockets nor the, nor the Velcro on the outside, so definitely something that, uh, if you've been wearing the TDU shirts, definitely would be upgrade there. Um, you can see that the the torso of the shirt, the body of the shirt is, is more of a is really lightweight, kind of a, like a poly cotton blend, I guess. And you can see some of the, there's some perforated uh, material on the sides of the body shirt there. Um, we'll take a closer look in a, in a second. Um, one thing to note here is the zipper. Um, some shirts do not have the zipper at all, they're just a collar. And usually it's a low collar kind of um, stretchy material. I definitely like the zipper there in case you you know you're wearing a hat or, or some sort of headgear that you don't really want to take off, um, just to put the shirt on or take the shirt off for whatever reason. So having that zipper there kind of opens up the neck, the head opening quite a bit. Um, is very useful. Also that that high collar there is very useful. Very that, that's one of the biggest uh, features I think. That, that puts this shirt over the shirts that do not have such a high collar is it prevents uh, skin irritation or, or uh, getting chafed when you're running a rifle sling all day and that rifle sling is rubbing against your neck. Uh, if you don't have that collar there, you can get a pretty good skin burn going on. Um, so definitely a plus there. Another pretty standard feature on most shirts you're going to find, but just thought I'd point it out, the adjustable uh, cuffs there that you can open or close around your wrist. Um, usually I leave leave it open in that position and then kind of roll the sleeves up about halfway up my forehand, for, forearms to keep them ventilated. Reinforced elbow, elbow pads there, extra material. They've got double material um, that looks like it's pleated there, I guess you could call. Um, on the elbows, uh, you can also use the neoprene inserts that 501 makes for the elbows. Also, they make a larger size of those inserts, uh, same material, the neoprene, um, for the, uh, their, most of their pants as well. Very nice feature. If you don't need to wear knee pads, but you could still use a little bit extra padding there, knee or elbow pads, definitely a really nice feature. Very durable. Uh, close up of the pockets, you've got one of these pockets on the, each sleeve, so you can put a number of things in there cell phones, a little pad of paper, a little tactical snack, whatever you want to put. Uh, something you know of that size fits in there very nicely, very easily, and especially handy if you're wearing a you know drop leg holster or some sort of Molly platform on your thigh where you can't get to your, your side pockets very easily. Um, but you need you know just a little pocket to put, put stuff in like that. Um, very handy. Close up of the zipper here, YKK zipper, so it's good quality zipper, always always nice, but that little piece of material that's covering the zipper actually is, is a very nice little feature. Um, keeps your beard and your skin uh, from getting caught in a zipper, which really, really sucks, actually. I've had it happen, not just with my beard, but getting a little bit of skin caught in that zipper and um, you know, you know, wearing jack various jackets and stuff in the past, and it really sucks. So that's a nice feature that they've added. Look at that! Look at that! A 511 Tactical Series tag on the inside, indicating that they 511 made this shirt. I don't, unless my eyes are deceiving me, I don't see anywhere in there that says anything about Blackhawk. So I don't, I don't know. Just anyway, moving on. Back of the shirt, um, nothing 
too exciting just the mesh material there which we'll close close in on uh, so you can see a little bit better in more detail uh, right there on the side one of the sides of the shirt the perforated uh, material there just really helps to ventilate cool you down a lot a lot better especially if you're wearing a low profile plate carrier or vest where you've got the sides open really really does make a difference um, I can attest to that and just holding that material up um, to the sunlight you can see obviously that there's there's quite a bit of perforations that's they've got some of the material on the back of the of the neck there the upper back area I guess 511 refers to it as the yoke or whatever but uh, so you can definitely see there's there's some really good ventilation there just to uh, really help cool you down and it seems like a small thing but like I said it really does make a difference and there it is without the uh, sunlight just so you can see here I just wanted to show you I've been wearing this shirt pretty extensively now um, <clears throat> for probably a year and a half and just want to show you the stitching on the bottom of the shirt a lot of times I have shirts that you know where I'm wearing for a long time like this that they that stuff that that stitching comes undone and then you just the hem gets undone and it's just an ugly mess and it looks bad and it's annoying um, but you can see that that uh, there's pretty much zero zero issues there there's the center of the shirt I didn't have a wide enough angle lens to show you up close you know the entire thing so there's the right side so obviously it's in really good shape um, so just a, just a, another testament to the quality of, of these shirts that 511 puts out. Um, so there's a zoomed out shot, nothing too exciting. That's pretty much it. Uh, I really, really recommend this shirt highly. Um, it's 70 bucks, I think, retail at pyramidera.com and they make it in pretty much any size you need. Um, you can even um, have them custom tailored which you can talk to Pyramid Air about um, through the 511 Custom Shop. Um, that'd be a special order item, so I'd recommend calling our customer service line for that, but uh, they can walk you through it. Um, but yeah, just a really great shirt, and I do apologize for the sarcastic nature of the earlier parts of this video, but that's just a ridiculous comment, and I felt it needed to be addressed. So. Thanks for watching. Um, check us out on Facebook. Pyramid Airsoft is our page name. You can also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Um, we've got a lot of great reviews, not just from, from me, but uh, also from our Rapid Fire Review series. Uh, really good really good stuff. Lots of, lots of guns to check out. Um, check us out on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Pyramid Air. And keep an eye out for uh, new blogs daily airsoftblog.com, which I write. So thanks for watching again, and uh, have a good one. Let's just pull it up here. What does he say? No. Just no. That's not cry precisions. Those are 511s by Blackhawk. A skier horse are gonna slap you with some knowledge. Or at least that's how I envision his voice to uh, to be to sound like.